So there's been a lot of head scratching, a lot of staring at walls out here, um, basically just trying to figure out the layout for this space. So I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I want to turn this into a wood shop. So I've basically just been trying to figure out how I want to lay it out, um, what the best workflow is, and I think I've finally come up with the best plan. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a tour on what this place is going to become, how I'm going to lay it out, um, and some of the projects involved in getting it to that point. So make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, stay tuned and enjoy. So we're starting in, the, in this corner here. This is going to be the lumber storage area, which makes the most sense. Um, you know, when I bring lumber home, it's going to be coming in through this garage door. So we're going to do a lumber rack on the wall here. The upper half of the wall will be a lumber storage rack. Um, and I got to figure out how many actual pieces I'm doing on the wall, because I want to be able to store um, different size boards. Um, I might have to build something, something separate to store smaller little bits and pieces. Um, plywood as well, I don't really know how I'm going to manage that yet, um, but essentially all the wood's going to be stored here. The lower section, I'm actually going to do an extension cord rack. So I saw this um, one somebody built online, it's out of like steel piping. Um, and then all your extension cords are basically wound up and you can actually get straps. I've already got them, um, straps that go around them to keep them together and they'll just hang on that rack. I probably have like close to a dozen extension cords, so um, it's just, yeah, I need a way to organize them, um, keep them neat and tidy. So, so that's the plan for this wall. Basically the wood comes in, goes on the storage rack, and then I've got my extension cords down below. Um, and then from there, we'll move on to the cutting area. Okay, so the wood comes in, goes on the storage rack, the next thing that makes the most sense in terms of workflow is a cutting station. So you see this workbench here behind me? What we're going to do is we're going to take all that apart and we're going to make um, a miter saw workbench. So one of those workbenches you've seen where it's kind of got the sunken portion in the center, miter saw will sit in there um, and that's where we can cut down our boards. So that's going to go right here. Fridge, fridge is going to go. It's empty right now, haven't really been using it. It's taking up valuable space, so we're gonna get rid of that. Probably the miter saw bench will go to the edge of where the fridge is sitting now. The next part of the cutting station is we're gonna make a workbench on casters to go right here. Um, and essentially I'm gonna put a table saw into that workbench um, so I can cut down any plywood. That'll be able to roll around. Um, I can maneuver, maneuver it as I need. So that's going to be here. If I'm using a circular saw, I can just set stuff on this workbench with the table saw and cut it. Um, so that's the plan for that. So all the cutting stuff is going to be kind of in this, in this area. Um, basically just breaking down the boards, prepping them for assembly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into kind of a general workbench area, um, tool storage, and kind of an assembly area. Okay, so after the cutting area, then we're going to get into assembly. So I'm going to do two workbenches, two eight-foot workbenches starting in the corner, coming over. It'll probably come to the window somewhere. That's 16 feet total. Um, and essentially this is just going to be a couple of heavy duty workbenches um, for kind of light work, assembly, um, small projects. There's going to be tool storage on the wall right there. Uh, it's going to be a French cleat um, system. So, and actually I forgot to mention above the miter saw station there will be French cleats as well. Um, and I'll probably store a lot of like cutting type stuff up there. Um, but yeah, French cleats here, two eight foot workbenches. The workbenches are going to be heavy duty. They're going to be four by fours, um, half lap construction. Um, really nice workbenches actually in the end. I'm going to put some drawers in them. I might close them in with like kind of cabinet style doors. Um, we'll see. I don't know. And yeah, that's kind of just like a general work area. I'm going to have a separate mobile assembly workbench as well. And we'll get into that here in a second. 
Okay, so we got the two foot, or sorry, we got the two eight foot workbenches um, for light assembly. Basically, that's going to come down to the window, more or less. Um, past that, I want to build a kind of like a rolling organizer. So it's going to be on casters again. Um, I want to get a bunch of those kind of like those uh, deep storage containers for like screws and nails and um, all that type of stuff. So it's probably going to sit right here uh, against the wall and it's just going to have a whole bunch of shelves that slide out and I can put each organizer on it. Um, so that's going to go there. Probably one of the filing cabinets in the corner temporarily just for storage, for storing tools. Um, and then yeah, another assembly table. So we are going to build a four foot by eight foot table to go kind of right here. Um, and that's going to be like the main assembly table. So really have heavy duty. I might do like the T-track kind of stuff on top. Um, and it's going to have a whole bunch of cabinets and drawers and storage. Again, built out of four by fours, uh, half lap construction, I think. So really heavy duty uh, on casters so I can move it around. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan for this area. So I haven't fully figured out exactly what I'm doing here yet. Um, right here, I think I'll put another kind of workbench maybe, um, or a, a tool chest. I've kind of been mulling over getting a, a tool chest for a while. so. I might get one of those lower ones that has like kind of a wooden top. Um, I'll put all my wrenches in there, my socket set, uh, stuff like that. Um, when you get over past the window here, it's going to be cabinets, a whole series of cabinets. So I think a tall cabinet um, with kind of like a lower section and maybe a higher section. And then another tall one, tall one over there. Um, I'm actually going to be putting a TV right there too, so um, I might put the TV kind of like in the center, uh, surrounded by the cabinets, I'm thinking, I don't know. Uh, it's a big TV, it's actually a 48 inch TV, so um, we just happened to get a new one, and um, yeah, our smallest one is a, is a 48 now, so um, I figured I'd put it up in the garage, and uh, that way I could put on a game or something, I'm a, I'm a big uh, Canadians fan, so um, watch the game when I'm doing work or, or whatever, watch some YouTube, so, um, TV, cabinet, big tall cabinet, tall cabinet, and a small, and like a lower cabinet section there, um, that's kind of the plan for that wall at least. So in terms of this area, it's kind of right where you come into the, into the shop, so I want to put a bench, um, right here, uh, a bench and a coat rack. I think above the uh, garage door openers there. Um, just so when you come in, you have a spot to change your footwear, uh, take the coat off or whatever. Um, so that's going to go there. And then right beside that is where I'll have that first cabinet. So one of those tall ones um, with a whole bunch of shelves in it. Um, and then that'll go into like the cabinets and the TV and, and all that. So, so I think the main center space is going to be kind of just like general storage. Um, don't really plan on parking vehicles in here. I think I'm gonna have like maybe one car because um, I am getting a second car here shortly. So nothing fancy, just a used used vehicle, but um, might park it in here. And then obviously we have the quad. Um, in the summer we'll have a lawnmower. So put the lawnmower in here and I think that's kind of it. Um, yeah, that'll take up some space, but I think I'll still have lots of space to uh, have those workbenches on casters and um, to be able to have a good, a good work area. So there will be a few things in here, um, but we'll see. If it's taking up too much space, we're going to focus on the, on the workshop. So um, then I'll be parking stuff outside probably. But So there you have it, folks. That's the plan. That's what I've been slaving away on the last little while. Um, by no means am I an expert, so if you've done this before and you've got any suggestions, just leave them in the comments down below. Um, really be appreciated. And uh, yeah, it's going to give me a lot of projects, a lot of content for the next year, I'd say. Um, 
we'll see how it goes. We'll see how long it takes, but I'm um, just going to keep chipping away at it and uh, turn this place into a cozy little workshop. So anyways, that's it for this week, guys. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe down below if you haven't already. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Thank you.